Hi, this is Rena at thecheesethief.com and I wanted to show you how to water marble your glasses. So my previous tutorial was how to water marble your ornaments or your nails, but this one I actually used just a drinking glass. So um, I'm using two, three bottles of nail polish, an orange, a blue, and a clear. So if you want to water marble so the pattern is small, you want to use the clear so that it goes, the clear goes around. But if you want it big like that where it goes around the whole cup, you don't have to use the clear. So I'll show you the small one today. So this is actually some nail polish that I found at my mom's house. It's really old. Um, I don't even think they make that brand. It's called Loud Music. And this is Wet n Wild's just a blue color. So, and this is some clear Sally Hansen's um, double duty base coat. So I'm going to start with, uh, this is just room temperature water that's run through the Brita filter. And I'm going to just drop couple of drops of clear in here. Actually that's three drops of clear. And another thing you're going to need is a q-tip and a toothpick. So I'm going to start with my colors now and then you want to just, I already shook these nail, the nail polish so all you want to do is just Make sure you get a nice big glob and let it drip into the water. I know in the first tutorial I didn't say that, but so try not to get your brush to touch the water. Just let it drip and fall into the water. Okay, so I didn't get a big enough glob. And you do want to protect your work surface because you may drip accidentally outside the water. And then you can just keep going, depends on what your pattern is. You do want to work relatively fast. So I think that's all the colors that um, I'm going to use. And so to make the shape, you can just work in opposite ends. Somebody commented that that's actually easier, so it actually does work pretty easy. So I'm going to work in opposite ends. I'm going to make a flower. And one cool tip trick is if you want to kind of center the flower, you can just dip your toothpick in there. So that's my pattern. And then I'm just going to take this cup that I have, and then I'm going to angle the cup. So don't drip it in this way because you want to make the air bubbles rise up. And you, want to, you don't want to do it too slow or else the pattern will just break, but you don't want to do it too fast or else you're going to get air bubbles. So I'm going to just lick and just make sure it's centered. And then hold it and shake it a little to make sure all the air bubbles are gone. Lift it up. And there you go. You have your pattern on your cup. You can see when you drink from inside. And it's pretty cool. If you don't like the pattern, just take nail polish remover, remove it. This is nail polish. It does uh, last pretty long. I've been using my cups, these ones, for quite a while, about a month or two. And they haven't chipped or anything. But it is nail polish, so it may chip. So you can just take nail polish remover and remove it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials and pictures. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.